Hello everyone and I hope that you're having a wonderful day wherever you are. This is the foundation update video for January and February 2021 and with the kickoff to the new year we've uh, been up to a lot of different things, lots of planning happening and exciting things in the pipeline. Uh, we have been doing planning calls with all of the camps to find out what it is that they're planning to do in 2021 and how we can support them. And that involves planning different camp experiences. And we've got five camp experiences coming up this spring. Camp Arcora in Australia is planning a camp from the 19th of April until the 16th of May. So head on over to our website and check out what the plan is for that camp. Beer Soleil is going to be running a camp from the 23rd to the 30th of April, uh, Embercoom from the 8th to the 13th of April, and that's all about rewilding and taking part in the rewilding project that's happening here. So anyone that's interested in rewilding that wants to learn how to do it, come along and, and here's the place. Mama Adamar is doing a camp which is going to be thinking about how to design the site for the restoration work. Uh, so if you're interested in design, that's a camp for you. It's from the 2nd to the 10th of April. And then Contour Lines is thinking of doing a camp from the 2nd till the 11th of May, which is going to be all about agroforestry or agroforests on contour and how to create and maintain them. So those are five really exciting camp experiences for you to get involved in. Head on over to our website to check out all the information about those and see how to uh, sign up. We did a very uh, interesting event, which was what we called an online symposium, which was called Counting Down to Restoring the Earth, Visions and Milestones for Achieving the Decade of Ecosystem Restoration. And we brought in three really inspiring visionary speakers and thinkers who set out their visions and milestones for how to achieve the restoration of, of our Earth's ecosystems as laid out by the UN Decade of Ecosystem Restoration. We had Precious Peary talking about how Africa can move towards these goals and what's needed there. Jim Laurie spoke about the different ecosystems around the world and, and which ones need to be restored by when and what sort of effect that will have. And then Daniel Christian Wall spoke about bioregionalism and regeneration and what needs to happen to bring bioregionalism into the fore in terms of being a defining framework for how we live and interact with, with our earth. We also had a representative from the UN Decade who came and, and told us all about that. It was a really exciting event. We also weaved in music and poetry and uh, yeah, it was seen by lots of people and we had a really great time doing it. So head over to our YouTube channel if you haven't seen that already. We also have been approached by Revolve magazine, which is uh, associated with The Ecologist magazine, and they are doing a photo competition to select a, a picture of one of our camps to be on the front cover of uh, the March edition. So on our social media platforms right now, we have a competition for you to vote on which image you think should go on the front cover, which would be really great publicity and promotion for that camp. So get involved and help us with that. That would be really great. <clears throat> uh, we've also been doing something this year called Fireside Chats with different camps and with our founder, John, um, for our members as a way to say thank you to you if you are a member for your continued support. Uh, it's really invaluable. And these fireside chats are the chance for you to really get to know the camps and ask them intimate questions and find out, find out exactly you know, what they're all about and have the chance to meet them and, and connect with them. And the one in January was uh, with Camp Via Soleil. The one just gone was with Camp uh, main springs and then next month's going to be with camp Mombasa mangroves and uh, if you are a member you would have received links to those videos uh, in your members newsletter we are developing something really exciting which we're calling a knowledge hub which we are developing with an organization called zendesk and they are giving us a lot of their time and expertise to create a system where camps can write any questions that they have about the restoration work 
and receive an answer either from another camp or from uh, someone with the relevant expertise. And then the answers are turned into articles and saved into an online library, which is then managed by artificial intelligence. And if another camp asks a similar question, they will be given the answer that's already been saved. So it's really going to help us to scale up uh, and serve the camps with the knowledge and expertise that we have access to. So we're really excited about that and that should be done by the spring, so keep an eye out. It's also going to be available for the general public as well. Uh, Camp Via Organica have given us an update. They've created an agave nursery, which is part of their One Billion Agave project, which is a really exciting project to revegetate and revitalise degraded semi-arid land around central Mexico with an agave mesquite polyculture, which will increase biomass, sequester carbon, and also produce food products for the local community in the, in the form of agave, it produces lots of different products, inclu including pulque and uh, mezcal. <laughs> and, um, and mesquite you can grind and turn into flour and there's loads of different products that you can make with that and the the trees that we planted at the camp both last year and the year before are doing really well so that's a really great update you can head on over to our facebook page if you want to find out more about about those uh, the camp people's coast which is a new camp that's starting in the gambia has located two tree nursery sites where they plan to grow and plant out 100,000 trees over the coming years. And those will be native species and also hardwood species that they can sell. And that money will be used as income for their camp activities. We're revamping our monitoring and evaluation framework based on two pilot data collection uh, projects that happened in Altiplano, Camp Altiplano in Spain, and Mama Adama in Portugal, where data collectors went there and collected data using the tools that were in our framework. And using that feedback, we have put in many more data collection methods and tools for, for measuring different things like soil erosion, soil accumulation, decomposition, surface temperatures, carbon sequestration. We've got lots of different tools in there for our camps to use with really clear instructions on how to collect this information. And we're making sure that there's a whole spread of tools so that camps can pick and choose the ones that are relevant to them. Um, we are in part in conversation with an organization called Crowther Lab about setting up a partnership. They are launching a system soon or a platform where camps give their polygon files, which is basically the, the outline of their campsite on Google Earth. And then this system will draw on loads of literature reviews to give camps an idea of the carbon sequestration potential of their site and then the local flora and fauna that exists around their site so that they know better what to plant. And this is a system that we're really excited about because it uses satellite images and therefore we can combine satellite images and satellite information with literature review and the, the data that's collected on the ground to form a really clear picture of, of what's happening at the camp, the camps and what our impact is. So that's exciting. Um, the new version of our ecosystem restoration design course has started and we brought in 185 students from around the world, which is amazing, and gave 18 scholarships to camp coordinators and people from the global south who couldn't afford the course, but really did, could do great things with it. Camp Altiplano is doing uh, an, another version of their online course, which talks about the regeneration work that has been done there and kind of teaches people about how it was done and what went well, what didn't go well, so that you can learn these techniques for restoration projects of your interest. And it also brings in the idea of how to create a regenerative culture. Um, and that is taking place on the 23rd of February. And there's three sessions that are spread out across the weeks. And you can find out about that on our website as well. Camp Contour Lines won uh, the Permaculture Magazine Prize for their work transitioning local communities from slash and burn corn to regenerative agroforests, which is amazing. Well done, Camp Contour Lines. 
Um, also on the 23rd of February, we're going to be doing a, a training on how to create an ecosystem restoration festival with myself and two people from Camp Greenpop. And Greenpop have been doing restoration festivals for years now, um, with one coming up on the 27th of June to the 11th of July, which is called the Eden Festival, which is in South Africa. So if you're in South Africa or you're near South Africa, or you're planning to be in South Africa at that time, check it out on our website. It's an amazing opportunity for you to dance, sing, have fun, uh, and attend a party that is restoring the earth. Thank you so much for listening to me this morning. And uh, I hope you're ex as excited as I am about everything that the camps movement is up to. And I uh, will see you next time. <laughs>